Airbus A320 flight control concept is fly-by-wire, which means that there is no physical connection between controls from the cockpit and flight control surfaces, which actually move with the airplane, which means that all this movement is controlled thanks to computers. And today we'll take a look on elevator aileron control system, exactly about the computer of it, which is over here. This is uh, ELAC number two. Over there in the corner is ELAC one. And ELAC one was replaced by my colleague. And uh, now we need to perform the tests and I'll show you uh, those tests. So let's take a look at it. This computer is responsible for controlling of elevator and aileron and as well THS or trimable horizontal stabilizer. Uh, whenever pilot give input to a side stick, this computer actually calculate the motion which is required for the input of the pilot. And this input is then sent to actuators which control the surface itself. The tail section, which is elevator and THS, is also controlled thanks to this device. This is SEC or spoiler elevator uh, computer. And that one helps actually or uh, support the LX of the controlling of the elevator and uh, trimable horizontal stabilizer. But about that computer some other day. Each computer in avionic compartment is basically uh, a LERU, line replaceable unit, which means that it needs to be easy to be replaced. In this, in case of the computers, it's really easy. All we need to do is you need to release those two nuts and they basically hold the computer on the place. They are self-locking, so every time when you turn it they are locking there is like uh, ratcheting mechanisms ratcheting mechanism inside which hold them on the place so they will not really uh, they will never really get loose but yeah this is quite easy you turn you unscrew those two nuts then you pull the computer but uh, of course all these computers are sensitive device to static electricity which means the best way is to ground yourself before you pull those computers by strap to uh, one of the grounding points. At that point, you can be sure that you will not gonna damage the sensitive electronic which is inside. The ELAC is uh, responsible of the controlling of the ailerons and ailerons control a row of the airplane. Another function of the ELAC is control of the elevator and with that uh, pilots control pitch of the airplane and also as a part of the pitch is trimable horizontal stabilizer and this way we move with the whole stabilizer function of the trimable horizontal stabilizer is to reduce a load on the flight controls uh, during uh, transferring of the center of gravity, for example, or by changing of the thrust. And of course, on each uh, flight control surface, you can find two different uh, actuators, which are powered by two different hydraulic systems, except rather, on rather, you can find all three hydraulic systems. And for example, ELAC-1 is responsible for uh, left ones on the ailerons and on the elevator is responsible for uh, inner ones. So in this case it is green and yellow and on the ailerons it is uh, blue and green. And ELAC number two is responsible for the right ones, which means on aileron right it is B, aileron left it's uh, golf or green and on the elevator it is blue and uh, blue. And as I said before, uh, elevator and uh, trimable horizontal stabilizer uh, is also controlled by SEC and exactly SEC1 and SEC2. Uh, SEC2 is responsible for inner elevators and SEC1 is responsible for outer elevators. Uh, spoiler elevator computers are also responsible 
for the spoilers but regarding uh, uh, sec computers uh, we're gonna talk some other day so as you can see regarding flight controls you have backup of the backup and even that backup has backup which means every uh, flight control uh, surface has at least two independently powered actuators by different hydraulic systems and those actuators are controlled by independent computers which are again backed up by another computer so it is that safe okay that's uh, more or less all about uh, theory now let's look on the test all CBs are closed and first check which we need to perform is a confirmation of the software which is installed inside of the ELAC because we already inspect the sticker which is on the box on that one you can find the part number this part number we already confirmed with the database which is available for this airplane and now we are cross-checking this number with the one which is shown inside of the system and since the part number is okay we can continue as next i will switch on air data and inertial reference system which provides the main air data and heading altitude navigation data to the aircraft systems and again these are three completely independent computers which are doing the same thing but about it some other day and as next we'll perform the full test of the elac one which means then we need to switch off every other computer which is responsible for controlling surfaces which are controlled by elac one like elac two sec one sec two and sec three one elac one legend of the elac one switch goes off off the full legend elac one button switch comes on comes on for a few minutes a few seconds release elac one release elac one off like a pressurized hydraulic. All three? All three. Blue. Yellow. Move the pitch string control wheel to nose up. Nose up. Push me like one push button. After. No. Yeah, like one. Off like one. Goes off. Pitch string control wheels move to zero. Plus minus 0 0.3 degrees. 0 0.1. Move the side stick to the right until the top stop. To the right. Yes, really. At the moment, we are giving really commands to the flight control surfaces through the side stick and we are checking if these uh, commands are executed through the flight control page. Okay. Pull the side stick reward until the touch to stop. Reward. Left and right elevator moves up. Yes. Release side stick. Push the side stick forward until touch Side stick stop. forward. Yes, left and right elevator goes down. Release side stick. Release. Okay, neutral. As the next, same procedure with the side stick on the captain's side. Yes, right, left. Okay. Mm -hmm. Neutral, left. left. Neutral. Neutral. Reward. No. Yeah, neutral. Forward. There is. Good. Pressurize the hydraulic. Off. Off. Push elac 2. Elac 2. Push sec 1. Test of Elac 1 pass and we are returning aircraft back to initial configuration. And as a next, we need to perform more interesting test, which is cut 3 capability of this airplane. And just quick explanation, Airbus A320 family is equipped with the Autoland system capable of performing category 3 approach and landing under very low visibility conditions. And when we say cut 3 dual, it means that both autopilots are engaged simultaneously during the approach. This provides redundancy and increased safety if one autopilot flight control computer 
or ILS signal fails, the other can still complete the landing safely. And since LAC-1 is crucial for such a landing, we need to perform cut landing test because it will check the aircraft capability to perform cut dual automatic landing. And since you know what is good for, we can perform the test. Uh, ground uh, land test. ILS. Okay, both engines stop. Yes, all breakers on. Yes, uh, fuck, engage. Fuck, engage. One, two. Autopilot off. Uh, FADEC, one, two. Ground on. FADEC on. Press next page. IRS, one, two, three, nav mode, set, align, set, try hydraulics on, both throttles in M uh, flex MTC, uh, LAC1, LAC2 engage, yes, fuck, two, engage, flight director, one, two, off, off, next page, uh, on nav switch, off on both RMPs, off, off. As next, I need to set ILS frequency required for the test. Radio, radio. ILS frequency 110.060. CRS set. Uh, next page. Select status page on ECAM. No autopilot uh, in-op system displayed. Yes, no autopilot. And the brightness. Navigation display EFT. Yep. Yes. Engage. Flight director one, two. ILS one, two. Flight director one, two. ILS one, two. Auto throttle. Approach. One, two. All. Engage. And uh, check PFD one, two. Speed, yes. Land, yes. Cut three dual, yes. Autopilot one plus two, uh, one. Flight director two. Auto throttle. Yes, it's correct. Insane. Disengage. Fuck one. Elac one. Triple click, and we should go to cut three single. So fuck one. Elac one. Fuck one. Elac one. Single. Triple click. Yes. Speed land cut three single. Yes. Display. On both sides. Engage. Elac weight no fault. Press uh, <coughs> disconnect. Auto throttle. Disengage. Elac two. So. Elac one. In. Wait for no faults. Okay. Fault not related, not related yeah. to this. Uh, flight control set. Now press auto throttle disengage. Cut three dual and triple click and uh, disengage elac two. Elac two disengage. Cut three dual remain elac two off. Elac two off. All set, yes. Autopilot 1, 2, on. Press, take over. Uh, cavalry charge, triple click. Auto land, master warning. So, disengage. Master warning, auto land. Cavalry charge. And triple click, yes. Charge, good. Okay, both throttle back to idle. Father ground off. Uh, hydraulic. Off. Off. Hydraulic off, off. IRS. Off. Engage. Elac 2. Elac 2. Fuck. 1. Uh, ILS frequency. Clear. To może, może clear. Clear. 
both clear, eyeless clear. Na gut? Okay, that's all for today. I know that it was very simplified what I told you today, but hopefully it was enough. If you have any questions, of course, write them down in the comments below and I will answer you as soon as possible. As always, guys, I would like to ask you to don't use this as a replacement for your maintenance manual, but always use latest documentation released by manufacturer. Big thanks to Austrian Alliance that they let me to record all these videos for you. Big thanks each and everybody who are watching my videos and especially to members. That's all from my side. My name is Tomáš. This was Arka Maintenance with Zeto and I will see you on next video. Bye.